Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that like, subscribe, all the good stuff. <laughs> Watch as much as you can of any videos. Check out the playlist to see if there's anything there that you need healing with, okay? Or guidance or explanation or whatever, okay? It's all here for you. This is going to be a blackout video redo, so to speak, of a collective board or a community board collective message. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that I'm just not going to be able to save, and um, I wish I could show you the picture of what uh, the spread is here, but it's so blurry. I was so terrible about posting these old old school messages here. This may still resonate for somebody, okay? As you know, timing is fluid. So this was posted 10 months ago, so maybe something about 10 months is significant here, past, present, or future energy, okay? So take it how it resonates, follow intuitively, and don't make it fit, okay? Overall, we have a platonic mother, wealthy, independent woman energy, okay? Uh, this could be you or them, take it how it resonates. But whatever this is, they're creating some kind of blockage of confusion regarding a relationship that is now being exposed and dealt with via karma, okay? Um, cord cutting and boundaries may be needed. I don't get the sense that this is intentional, but it could be um, from somebody in they're external, if that makes sense, okay? Um, focus on high vibrational healing, balance gratitude needed at this time. Be patient with the answers and clarity that are coming forward, okay, for all those involved. The timing of this, in addition to that 10 months, could be from now up until Aquarius season in January, which is definitely within 10 months, okay? And it may even drag a little further out into February, okay? Um, the identifiers for you or them, or if you're cross-watching for Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, and or Taurus, um, could be any major placement that you're following at this time. Okay. Not just your sun, rising, moon, Venus, and given the connection, it could very well be Venus. Okay. They, for them, especially if you're cross-watching, there's more than one person in here, so this could be external energy with two others with regards to that blockage, like I mentioned. The signs here for that are Aquarius, Gemini, Sag, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Libra. Almost all of them minus a few. We do have Chinese Zodiac birth years of the horse, snake, dragon, and monkey, so that might be really specific identifiers for some folk, okay? We also have the letters E, Y, R, and B, okay? So they may be significant initials, first, middle, last, or some kind of identifier. There might be a word there or acronym or something that's uh, familiar to someone here. Uh, the name berry or berry as in the color, as in the fruit, right, <laughs> might be significant. Uh, the color white, the animal horse also stuck out heavy, okay? There are also, there is also another snake, two black panthers or cats, black cats, an elephant on the board as well. So those might be animal signs or synchronicities or zodiacs, okay? The spiritual significance of the black cat and snake may be significant here or maybe identifiers of any of these people. A cat lover, someone you think of as a shifty snake, someone with a snake for a pet, any tattoos or logos of favorite things of those animals, that kind of thing. One is at least of a platonic mother energy, sort of a queen of pentacles, earth sign, okay? They're embodying that. However, this queen of pentacles energy, based on what appears to be, or some false mask or false impression of a person or situation created some false narrative as an obstacle for another to keep them in sort of a hangman energy about a soulmate connection with another to keep them stuck in whatever situation they preferred instead. So I get the feeling they're really not truly a queen of pentacles in the upright, more like in the reverse, okay? With the eight of pentacles, this could have been going on for years, okay? Eight years maybe. Judgment reversed. The Eon card in the deck that I used here. Eight of pentacles, prudence, ten of wands, oppression, is also here on board, okay? Could be in a work situation with that Eight of Pentacles or it could have involving money, okay? 
with judgment being reversed and two of wands reversed, this was a bad decision <laughs> that led to delays towards happiness and purpose and extra stress, probably because it was misdirected, right? I almost get sort of a dark magic energy here and nothing about this queen's um, just simply going with a crowd or innocently responding on behalf of the welfare of another. It feels more like it was intentional, okay? With breaking free and boundaries coming out along with peace and the star energy of Aquarius, this energy was completely polarized, indicating an, some kind of need to control from a low vibrational state, right? And only thinking selfishly of, of what they wanted. With the Six of Wands coming out in reverse and the Five of Cups, this is a failure for this person that will be absolutely regrettable and cause the same for the person they tried to control. Jail is also significant as a response to this person, so that might also be an identifier of some kind. So the universe may be lining that up for repeatedly meddling attempts and as a result of something else that they were doing illegally with that similar energy, okay, that maybe you might not be aware of, okay? But this could just indicate the situation felt imprisoning as well, right? Like there was no way out for whatever reason. I get the sense there was consistent restrictions and resistant to any attempt at harmony or diplomacy with this person. Um, the universe is about to give the receipt of this controlling energy a way out, the recipient, I should say. There is good news coming, but patience will be needed, okay? The guidance here <laughs> um, is obviously to do a cord cut or dissolve. You get to elect just something here. Strengthen your own personal energy boundaries with what you will allow with these folks. Aim for peace and healing. Express gratitude to raise your vibration. Use discernment. Let go. Move on. Go with the flow knowing miracles will happen and that you are supported by your spirit team, okay? You recognizing that you have the power and reclaiming that back to wholeness, all right? Those are things that are suggested. There will be light at the end of the tunnel once you move to calmer waters and have taken a very much needed break, okay? I don't see the hermit here. So I'm not getting the sense of needing to go on a retreat or go into isolation or anything like that. It could just be limiting contact, okay, and spreading out your energy, okay, uh, to more healthier things. But it does kind of carry that hermit energy a little bit, okay. Even dropping a few of those ten wands <laughs> should be able to help make things lighter, okay. And any wands attached to this situation may need to be paused for a while. So it may not even be a permanent disconnect or dissolve. It could just be temporary, okay? You may only need to cut the cords or dissolve the cords, cords with like a handful of people, okay? Not like everybody. And, or just set boundaries, okay? And just stay away temporarily from the rest, okay? Use your discernment and intuition on that. Essentially, you're just removing the access to your energy whenever they want it, <laughs> okay? It does sound like their energy isn't grateful at all. And if they are, it will show after however long of disconnection. And it may feel like it's a little too late, right? <laughs> or like just a little, oops, you know, probably should have showed up sooner kind of thing. But that may be just enough time for the divine to line up whatever this miraculous good news is, okay? So that may be the reason for that kind of delay. Your team does not want your energy up in the mix when it does happen, so you're being removed to be protected from it as well, all right? From the Healing Light of Egypt Oracle, number 16, the Underworld, and number 11, Mafdet, came out. The Underworld is all about where dark, dark energy resides, right? It is the Egyptian hell, and it would appear the situation may have felt that way. But it also shows you polarity and finding peaceful balance in the duality of the situation, okay? Mafdet is also a hint of things to come for the offenders. She is the goddess who sees so clearly that she may be the one shedding some light on this situation. <laughs> she also personifies law on earth, and when someone is found guilty of a crime, she's the one dishing out the karmic justice tenfold especially if this is family or love. So this could very well end up being literal jail for the blockage creator, okay? 
and 10 of something may be significant because we did have the tens. We also had the tens popping up constantly throughout this spread here, okay? Could be 10 weeks, months, years, perhaps a decade or 10,000, 10 million dollars worth of punishment, okay? <laughs> I wonder what they would do with the with the ten million dollar penance. Okay, also multiply that by how many years has gone gone on. This has gone on as well. The eight of pentacles is also eight years specifically. Okay. The final guidance here came from the Isis Oracle. Uh, the cards that came out were ancient power mysteries and proper burial for freedom. Okay. Ancient power mysteries basically suggest it's time to speak your truth, voice as a spiritual healing gift, poetry, creative writing, songwriting, singing, and asking you to honor voice authentically. So that can be an identifier for you if you're a songwriter or something, right? Okay, or you're a singer, or this could be about a songwriter or singer, okay? In addition to just being your straight, honest, authentic truth, okay, speaking that and actually literally speaking it, okay? So you could also be doing um, vocal cord cuts, okay? Not just physical ones or visual ones. You might actually be vocalizing the cord cut, okay? <laughs> With great power comes great responsibility. It's all how we manifest, right? This could also indicate an opportunity to practice a spiritual light work skill that has been, that will be utilized later on somehow, okay? So just put that in your little bank there, your mental bank, all right? With underworld coming up, transmutation comes to mind, all right? Which is kind of cool. <laughs> Proper burial for freedom is all about leaving the dead where it's at, okay? Not trying to hold on to persons, places, situations, things that no longer serve you. So there may be some folks here you're gonna have to completely dead out your life, okay? I'm just saying. It's all about connecting with Osiris to release those burdens to be free. Okay. All right. There you go, guys. Hopefully that helps. Until next time. Bye.